You have read the title, so we won't waste any more of your time. In this video, we are comparing two tools for scraping leads from Google Maps. How they work, what data is included, can we search by state or country? Hi, my name is Francois, and today we are comparing D7 Lead Finder on Scrub.io. Let's start with the basics. How do D7 Lead Sniper on Scrub.io work? To begin with, I'm taking a look at their landing pages and we can see that they have something in common. Both platforms offer a demo. For D7 Lead Finder, I can search for leads by entering a keyword, so restaurants for example, and a city. So if I type Nashville, I will end up with a lot of suggestions because a lot of cities are called Nashville within the US, but I can specify Tennessee. And if I click on the get leads button, I will get a preview of my database. Same thing for scrap.io restaurants, I can change the city to Nashville, but because Nashville is not in Poland, I need to switch the country to United States. And if I click on the search button, same thing, I'll get a preview of my database. But this was only a preview, right? In reality, once I've logged in, I can make my search in a more appropriate way. Each request is divided into two categories. We have the activity part, meaning the category, the Google Maps category, and there are like 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. For the example, I've just picked the most popular and the most basic one, restaurant. But as you can see, there are a lot of different kinds of restaurants. I can pick up another country if I want to. Level 1 and Level 2 division, which in the case of the US represents the state and the counties. So I can say Tennessee. And if I tap Nashville, my request is completed. All that remains to do is to click on search in order to get my data. So here is the activity part and the four last criteria are location criteria. And apparently I'm about to retrieve 1600 results. You might wonder why I'm not doing the same process for D7 Lead Finder. And the answer is simple. It's because D7 Lead Finder doesn't have a free plan. On the contrary, if you are using Scrub.io, you have the opportunity to try it for free for seven days and scrap up to 100 leads. If you are interested, the link is in the description. Now that being said, it's important to compare both databases. So what I'm going to do is to click on get leads. I need to resolve a captcha first. Okay, let's do that. Ah, come on. Again? Okay, good. So I see you back in three minutes. In the meantime, I can do the same thing for Scrub.io. I give a name to my export. And if I click on the advanced options, I can set up an exported length limit. If I only need a sample, for example, in the case of this video, I can say that I only want to get 30 leads. Then I click on export, and all that remains to do is to wait until the task is completed. I've forgotten to tell you something important. Usually when you are making a Google Maps search, you are able to filter your data before exporting it. For Scrub.io, filters are divided into two parts again, essential filters and advanced filters. For example, you can filter based on the website and the phone number. These filters make sense, I guess, but you also have access to more advanced filters. For example, if I check Google Maps listing claimed, it means I will end up with restaurant with a Google business profile. I can do the same thing for contact forms or add pixels. If I check main activity only, I will end up with restaurant as a main category and not as a secondary category. Because as you can assume, a restaurant can also be a cafe, a hotel, a bar, or a lot of different things. If I check main activity only, as its name suggests, it means their main activity is restaurant. You also have access to a couple of filters regarding D7 Lead Finder, but they are much more basic, hide leads without email, hide without telephone, hide without website URL, hide without address, and Scrub.io has the very same ones. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the time for the side-by-side -side comparison, meaning it's time to answer to our second question, what data is included? I will take a look at my exports tab on Scrub.io. Finished, I can download it in a CSV or Excel file. Here we go. And you know what? Let's start with D7 Lead Finder. So we have access to the name, the phone number, the email address, website, social media links, LinkedIn, Facebook, 
uh, Messenger, okay, Instagram, Twitter. The number three views, position in Google. If the business is running ads, if we have found Google pixels on the website and the category, the main category. I think that's it. And we end up with 600 10 entries, which is good, right? But remember, on Scrap.io, when we have made the very same search, we were about to retrieve 1600 results. So it has been multiplied by two, even a bit more than that. Anyway, let's take a look at what we have got with Scrap.io. Google ID, the name of the business, right? Description, main type, main category, all types, secondary categories, the website, phone number, full address, which is divided into different subtypes, coordinates, links, owner ID, email address, social media links, so Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn first seen on, which gives us an overview of how new is a Google business card, price range, reviews count, reviews rating, reviews per score, etc. If the business has been claimed by the owner, we have talked about that, working hours, characteristics, and SEO related data, which might come in handy for some SEO professionals. Website title, meta keywords, meta description, meta image, additional email addresses, if we have found multiple ones on the website. Contact pages. We have already talked a lot about why contact pages are super useful and in some cases are even superior than emails. And the main reason is that contact forms are for contacting. So at the end of the day, you end up with 100% deliverability, which is not necessarily the case for email addresses, right? All contact pages, all social media links, and we end up with website technologies and website at pixels. So databases coming from Scrub.io are much comprehensive. Now it's time to answer our third question. Can we search by state or country? Something I've noticed on D7 Lead Finder is that there is a limit per search. They can get up to 1200 business leads per search. Scrap.io doesn't have such limitation. And maybe that's the reason why we end up with 1600 results on Scrap.io and only 600 on D7 Lead Finder for the very same search. And if we take a look at the FAQ on D7 Lead Finder, we might find the answer to our question. Can I search by state or country? D7 Lead Finder is designed to use a keyword on city town to help you find new leads. Nevertheless, there is a way to search larger areas with the professional plan. Thanks to the bulk search, you can enter a list of up to 100 cities and get all 100 searches back in one single file. So to summarize, D7 Leaf Finder is fairly basic and has a similar feature as a lot of Google Maps scraping tools. It's very difficult to scale your request. And in that case, what they are doing is that they are saying, oh, we can't really get large databases, but what we can do is to multiply your request to end up with a larger database. But let's be honest, it's not really convenient, right? You have to enter cities one by one and then click on fetch leads. So technically speaking, yes, you can get thousands of leads, but it's not really the easiest way of doing it. On the contrary, on Scrub if I'm taking a look at my previous exports, I can perfectly get large database. This one was for all the restaurants in France, and that one was probably about the restaurants in the US with a Facebook account. And the point is that it works just as flawlessly for extensive extractions as it does for smaller ones. Let's take a look, shall we? As we have seen, we can make a search based on the city, it makes sense, but depending on your plan, you can also search depending on a county and it works the same way. I can also do the same thing based on a state, a level one division, boom, same thing. And I can also get a database based on an entire country in just two clicks. And this time we are about to retrieve 600,000 leads in just a couple of clicks. So if you want to try out Scrub.io, remember by clicking the link in the description, you have access to your first 100 leads free of charge. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can subscribe. There is nothing else to see. Bye.